Hello, and welcome to Community Connections. My name is Addison Davis, Superintendent of Schools. This month at Community Connections, we'll talk about how we need to recruit, attract, and retain well-qualified teachers within our school district. As you know, throughout the nation, the teacher shortage is real. So here to talk about how we're going to take a proactive plan and initiative to grow a longer, stronger bench within Clay County, I have the Assistant Superintendent of Human Resources, Mr. Dave Broski, also the 2018 Teacher of the Year, Mrs. Michelle Biley, and the 2020 Teacher of the Year, Mr. Evan Gould. Thank you all for being here today. As we know that educators, you know, it, it's a spot where we are not seeing a number of individuals transition to this profession for their first career. And we see that this comes to a point where we have, you know, individuals come into to education, their second and third career. So how do we stop this process and really focus on becoming a dynamic school district with highly qualified teachers within, within our classrooms? Well, there's a couple things that come to mind. First of all, there is a nationwide shortage of teachers out there and people aren't choosing teaching as their first career. But I would also emphasize that in Clay County, we've been fortunate that people still want to work here. Clay County is a great place to work. People love to work in Clay County. I think the reasons for the nationwide shortage are, are multiple, but really it boils down to three things. One, their teacher preparation program simply aren't pumping out enough individuals to become teachers. In a state like Florida, where we have a growing population, we need the teacher prep programs to increase the number of people that are becoming teachers, not decrease them, which is what's happening currently. Thus, there's a shortage for teachers. I would also argue that we need to pay teachers more. Teacher salary, I agree. probably the number two reason why people don't go into education as a profession. And the third is a little bit more complex and a little more dynamic, is that teaching as a profession People feel like in the teaching profession that they don't receive the support that they, that they should receive, either through resources or just in general as a profession. And so attacking those three things is a very complex uh, process. I agree. And in, and in Clay County, you know, I've had a chance to be here for, for 29 months, and I see that the retention rate is, is significantly high in Clay County compared to surrounding counties. And we talk about support. That is definitely an area that we have to continue to be stronger in. Michelle, you do a lot of stuff with, with new teachers, a lot of stuff with teachers of the year. You know, support continues to be one of the, the, the thriving uh, needs in, uh, from our teachers. You know, what, what are some elements that we're doing to, to better support educators in Clay? Well, I think one of the things we're doing is as our principals grow uh, in their abilities as coaches. They're finding ways to support teachers and encourage them in the classroom. The other thing we're doing is we have some different initiatives where we're pulling in the experience of our teachers of the year and we're building a, a leadership network of teachers because many of our teachers find they want to be leaders in the classroom. They don't necessarily right. want to track into administration. So giving them voice and support to help them feel that they're growing we're finding is helping them to remain high in job satisfaction. Yeah, I, I think you're doing a wonderful job to help with this initiative and create master teachers within our schools. So thank you for continuing to do that. We, we talk about the shortage, uh, you know, throughout the nation and we talk about, uh, you know, Clay County. Has this shortage impact us, Mr. Broski, and, and, you know, why or why not? It's, it's impacted us. There's no doubt about it. But the argument would be that it's impacted us far less than other counties in the state Agreed. and the nation as a whole. And one of the reasons why is because Clay County is a great place to work. And one of the things I would emphasize is that we retain our teachers. The first step in recruiting teachers, one, having less vacancies than everyone else. Sure. And so we do have less vacancies. We started this year and uh, with far less vacancies than every other district in the state and probably nationally. And we really focused in HR on ensuring that qualified educators were in the classroom day one so that students can be served and their needs can be met. I, I agree. You know, we, we looked at, we, we always talk about, you know, the number of vacancies we have on a monthly basis within our school district. And I do remember explicitly in the, in the bre winter break, when we looked at all of our schools, 2,800 teaching positions, we only had around 10 or 11 positions at that time. And now I think we're even down to a, a lower number. Um, three. Three, three. And, and that's awesome. That just says a lot about the environment for Clay County education, the environment that students create, and the supportive measures that we have for our educators. You know, I, I continue to say that Clay County District Schools is a great place to, to, to live, a great place to be an educator. And, uh, you know, here with us today, we have the 2020 
Teacher of the Year, who has been an exemplar within our school district. This individual teaches visual and performing arts within uh, within our school district at Lake Asbury Junior High School. And uh, you know, glad that you're here today to join Thank us. You. you know, talk a little bit about you know some of your successes and what do you see that that's great about Clay County? Well, you know, we talk about retaining teachers. Teachers need to feel that they are the driving engine in the classroom. And one thing that Clay County does so well is it trusts its teachers to be that driving engine in the classroom, to really be the artist in the classroom. That's right. Um, as an artist myself, um, I, you know, I feel as a teacher is an artist. You're creating, you are performing um, on a daily basis. And Clay County values that. And I think that's what keeps teachers in the classroom. When they feel like they come into work every day and that they are in charge. They, they are the leader in their classroom and Clay County values that. And that's really an important uh, way to keep teachers um, involved in, in your district. I agree. You know, the, the biggest thing we, we talk about is, is making certain that it's my job to provide teachers with the necessary curriculum to be successful, but it's, it's the job of the teacher to earn the, uh, that autonomy and implement their deliver, you know, the delivery method in a unique way that, that they seem best and to be able to, to gain access to our learners. So Teacher of the Year for the last two, two months, how, how does that feel and um, has this changed your outlook on the way you do it's, your work? It's humbling, definitely. Um, you know, we as teachers are used to being rock stars okay. to our own students at Publix and Target yeah. as we're walking around. But this last couple of weeks has really been um, quite a different experience. Uh, students from all you know, works of, walks of art, um, uh, parents, their parents that I've taught, it seems almost more like a celebration of my whole career versus just you know, uh, this one year. Um, so it's been, it's been very humbling. Awesome. And, you know, we always talk about how great leaders, you know, truly are there to work side by side of our teachers every single day. And we've worked in Clay County District Schools over the last 28 months to coach principals how to be instructional leaders and how to problem solve with teachers to provide actionable bite-sized feedback to allow them to be successful. So one of the greatest things I think that we focused on, and it shows it through the insight survey, is how we really work to to with our teachers provide actual bite sized feedback through observations through observations to help them enhance their craft. Um, have you seen anyone there? You seen a difference in the classroom from administrators to really helping and working side by side teachers oh. versus a top down approach? I, I'll tell you, uh, it is the other thing that keeps teachers in the classroom is feeling like you're working in a professional environment. Sure. To feel like you're working in a school that is constantly working towards improving itself. Sure. It's just the school and the district. Uh, our principal at Lake Asbury Junior High puts out a newsletter every weekend that comes out for sure. the following week, um, highlighting the work that was done in th that they have seen throughout the school with pictures and little, you know, uh, little bios of each of the different events. It is, as an arts teacher, you know, I'm in my own little world doing all the art yeah. stuff. It is so um, exhilarating to see what is going on in all the other classrooms. There is not a single classroom where uh, great things aren't happening um, on a daily basis. And, and it's, it's great to have administration going in and celebrating those things. It makes teachers feel that we're appreciated and it makes us feel like we are on, you know, we're, we're, we're taking our students on a journey and, and they're with us right. the entire yeah. way. Completely validates the hard work of our educators. Michelle, you, you work, you know, I'm in classrooms all the time, but you get a chance to work side by side educators every day. You know, is there a conversation about how leaders are providing better supports? I know we got a ways to go. We continue always to, to improve because we're part of the continuous improvement model. It, you know, anything that you're hearing out there with it within our community? Absolutely. We're hearing teacher feedback is very positive in that they feel like they're building relationships with their administrators in the same way that they build relationships with their students. And so you're seeing these conversations around student achievement and student accomplishment. And rather it being an us versus them, it becomes right. a team effort right. to impact and benefit the students. No, I agree. Collaboration and working collectively for the singular mission of helping our students is, is what it's all about. All right, circling back to you, Mr. Brosky. Now's the time for us, even though we have, you know, a low number of positions that are currently open in Clay County District Schools, we will hit a, a point within the summer that we'll probably have to hire over 200 teachers due to attrition and due to uh, individuals transitioning out of the state or moving for multiple reasons. You know, what are some of the recruitment plans that we have in place in order to, to address uh, the, the needs that we will be facing in, in the near future? We have a multi-prong effort to recruit uh, teachers. We'll need about 270 yeah. historically before the beginning of next school year. 
We've already been out at uh, universities in four different states across awesome. the southeast. I wanted to highlight uh, right now our recruiting fair on May 11th. So if you're out there Man. and you want to be a teacher, May 11th. As I say, 11th, say that date again. That's right. May 11th. You heard me. May 11th, 9 o'clock at Fleming Island High School. We're, we're always looking for talent uh, to bring us to the next level. I'd also argue that one of the things that we do year round is recruit teachers. I receive emails every day from people saying, hey, I'm interested in Clay County Schools. It's not only important that you respond to those individuals, but that you have follow up with them. You know, people that are out there looking for a job and there's less positions or there's more positions out there than there are people, they want to go where they feel comfortable. They want to feel like uh, people care about them. And one of the unique things that we do that kind of sets, I think, Clay County apart from some of our neighbors is that we let the, the individual principals hire the individuals at the school. Some districts have district hiring. You get hired by the district, yeah. then the district places you in a school and, and maybe in a location that you don't really want to go at, sure. at that point. Or may not be a great fit, you know, so. And so we, so we let our leaders choose the individuals that would fit their organization. And we also facilitate that and, and push that through. So once again, that's May 11th. <laughs> May 11th, if you're Nine watching. <laughs> no, fuck. Awesome. And, uh, you know, I guess there's one question I have to have. What separates Clay County from every other surrounding county? You know, you know, you know what makes it a great place for individuals to, to strive, whether it's newcomers, whether it's individuals who are teaching in education surrounding counties? You know, let, can you talk about why this is a great place to, to, to teach? Yeah, I, I, I can speak to it a little bit and then we'll yeah, go. Yeah, sure. Around. Sure. I mean, I've, I've been in Clay County for 29 years. Uh, you know, Clay County's my home. I, I really enjoyed being Clay County. A little known story is that I actually moved away from Clay County for nine months in the year 2000. I know I was crazy. Yeah. After nine months, I came back to Clay County because the, the level of service that you receive, the people-oriented uh, structure that's here, just can't find that anywhere. And so uh, Clay County is a great place to live and work. Sure. You know, the support you get as a teacher is, I, I, I don't think you'll see it anywhere else, uh, certainly not in our area. Um, you know, one of the former um, uh, personnel directors, uh, Neil Sanders, whenever he's around in our school, uh, I, you see people go up to him and almost in tears. You know, he, you know, he was there to help us through our career. And it still happens to this day. Clay County hires their teachers and then sets them up for success awesome. and you know you feel it you do yep. yeah i've been here 23 years um so you just you feel yep. it every year every yep. every day yep. michelle absolutely well professionally i have felt that same level of support um, i moved down from georgia where i had prior teaching experience and coming into clay county it was really exciting to see the the level of support but then also the the personal nature sure. of our county we have this great small town feel when you need a, a question answered in hr or in another department you get an, a real life person on the other end of the right. line it's not pushed to a voicemail box that may or may not be returned sure. um, so from that level it it's it's really empowering to sure. know that you have a voice in the district in which you work yep it, it's a good place so for those of you all if you if you're watching on there may 11th may 11th, may 11th is the, the date we're trying to, to we'll open up our doors in order to to identify individuals to come help us improve teaching and learning every mm -hmm. single day clay county is, an, is a great place to live it's a great place to to work you know we you know one of the great i asked the question what makes it a great place we're number eighth in the state, folks. So this is a good place where we'll continue to, to move the needle in multiple facets, academically, educationally, socially, emotionally. And we see that being, uh, you know, uh, taking place at scale across the school district with great educators t punching their time card in every single day to help our students meet grade level expectations and help them be successful, not only inside the classroom, but outside the classroom as well. Last thing, new initiative coming to Clay County, you know, uh, pair to pro. Beautiful partnership we just launched with St. Leo University. What is that program and what does it mean for, for, our, for our individuals in our school district? We're very excited about that initiative. It is something that we've launched with St. Leo University and we're looking for our support personnel that currently have their associate's degree. 
And through this program, they're able to complete their BA and become educators in two years. Awesome. Um, so it has, we've had a lot of interest applications already coming in, but it's the ability to look at people who are already in our district, who are already serving our children, and bring them in and maintain them as teachers. Yep, it's awesome. You know, uh, just a great way to, to create a systemic offering of teachers within, mm -hmm. within house who already know our students, our community, our way of work, and our mindset. I think it's going to be a great opportunity. So look forward to that to, to grow. So thank you for each of you for being here today, talking about the, the mechanics of how we're going to recruit and retain first round draft picks to be in our classrooms every single day for the community. We, we will continue to dedicate our efforts in, in order to make sure that students have a great experience within Clay County District Schools. Thank you for watching uh, this, this month's uh, Community Connection Session. Next month, we will bring the police, school police department uh, to life. We'll be able to answer a number of questions. Nicole Snyder will be back here this month, uh, next month with us, uh, back in action. And then we also bring the new chief of police, Mr. Kenneth Wagner. Hope to see you next month. And thank you for, for allowing me to lead. And thank you for supporting us in all of our efforts. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.